everyone, my name is Marissa and welcome back to Culinary Corner. This week for Cheap, Fast and Healthy, we're going to make a tomato couscous salad. This is a really great way to have a kind of summery pasta-ish salad, except it gives it more of a Mediterranean style and adds some different carbohydrates into your diet, such as couscous and chickpeas. So first, let's go over our ingredients. For this recipe, you will need four cups of cherry tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, one cup of dry Israeli couscous, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one fourth a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one clove of garlic, six sprigs of fresh thyme, one and a half cups of roasted chickpeas, one fourth a cup of fresh basil, two Persian cucumbers, and one fourth a cup of crumbled feta cheese. Now the first thing we need to do before doing any cooking is wash our hands. The CDC recommends washing your hands for 20 seconds, making sure to use warm water and soap, and making sure to scrub your wrists, in between your fingers, underneath your fingernails, and the backs of your hands. So let's do that now. All right, now that our hands are washed, it's also important to remember to tie any long hair up and away from your face and tie any loose clothing back. Now the first thing we need to do is put a medium pot of water on the stove and wait for it to get to a boil. We're starting this now, that way it'll be done in a few minutes once we're done preparing all of our vegetables so that we can just add the couscous right in and start cooking that. But while that's going, we're now going to cut up our tomatoes. So here we have a really large bowl of cherry tomatoes, just little these guys. Tomatoes are a major dietary source of the antioxidant lysopene, which has been linked to many health benefits, including reduced risk of heart disease and cancer. They're also a great source of vitamin C, potassium, folate, and vitamin K. So what we're going to do with these tomatoes is just have them. That's it. Just like that. And we'll come back once all of our cherry tomatoes, all four cups of them, are halved. While cutting my cherry tomatoes, I realized that our water was actually boiling and ready for us to add the couscous. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pot off the hot burner, set it on a back burner, and then take your dry couscous and pour it in. And then put a lid on. And we're going to let that steam for about nine minutes or so, and then we'll come back and check on it. While the couscous is cooking, we're going to talk about some of the health benefits associated with couscous. It's something that I personally haven't used here on Culinary Corner before, so let's talk about it. Couscous is really high in carbs, which is really great for helping you feel full and giving you lots of energy throughout the day. Couscous is also high in selenium, which one cup of couscous contains 60% of your daily recommended intake of selenium. Selenium can help lower your risk of heart disease and can also reduce plaque buildup in your veins. Couscous is a really great thing to eat. Couscous is very similar to pasta. You prepare it the exact same way. A lot of people think it's a grain. It's actually not. It's made from a special type of wheat, so it's actually very similar to pasta. We've also finished up cutting our tomatoes here, so we have a nice big bowl of those finished up. And next we're going to cut up our cucumber. I have a really large cucumber here, so I'm only going to use about half of it. Cucumbers are composed of about 96% water, which is really great for hydration. So we're just going to take these and thinly slice them like that. We'll come back when that's all done and when our couscous is finished cooking as well. So we just finished cutting up our cucumbers and at the same time our couscous is done cooking. So we're going to remove that from the heat. I have a turbot set right here and we're going to place that in front of us. And using a fork, I'm just going to stir it a little bit and make sure it's all good in there and fluff it up. And our couscous is done. We're going to finish prepping our ingredients and then we're going to assemble our salad. So the last two things we really need to cut and prepare for our recipe is our garlic and our basil. Garlic is really great for lowering your cholesterol and reducing your blood pressure, so we're just going to mince that. The last thing we need to prepare is our basil. Basil is a really nice fresh herb that you can add to a lot of different recipes to add some more flavor. Herbs also have lots of different uh, health benefits based on whatever herb they are. For example, the basil we're using today is really great for memory loss and brain function. One thing to know though is that with fresh herbs, a lot of the time once they're dried out in that kind of spice container, they lose a lot of those health benefits. So try and use fresh herbs when you can. One thing I've started doing recently is I planted my own in-home uh, herb garden. Unfortunately, that's not blooming yet, so the herbs you have today are store-bought. 
However, in the future, that is a really cool thing to look into if you're interested in having fresh herbs year round. Now that everything is prepared, we're going to begin by making the dressing that goes on ours that we mix in with the couscous. First, you're going to need one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Then you're going to need one tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice is a really great source of vitamin C, and vitamin C is really great for uh, keeping you healthy. Lemon juice is also something that you can easily add to your water in the morning. That way you're getting hydrated throughout the day, you have a little bit of flavor in your water, and you're getting some vitamin C. Next we're going to add in our garlic, and we're going to add some of our thyme. Thyme is really great for its antibacterial properties and may help reduce acne. So we're just gonna add a few sprigs of it in and just peel the leaves off. And lastly, we're gonna add 1 fourth a teaspoon of paprika. Once you've added all your ingredients to your large mixing bowl, we're just gonna mix those together. Next, you're gonna add in your couscous and give it a mix. Now we are going to finish adding the rest of our ingredients. So first we have our tomatoes. our cucumbers. Next, we're gonna be adding our chickpeas. Chickpeas are also a really great source of carbohydrates and they help keep you feel full for longer so you don't snack as much throughout the day. And then we're going to add about a third a cup of feta cheese. Feta cheese is a really great source of calcium. Feta cheese and goat milk actually have a lot less fat compared to other types of cheeses, so these are really great cheese options. So we're just gonna add about a third a cup and we're going to stir it all up. Once everything is stirred up, you're going to add your basil as a garnish. And you're done. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Cheap, Fast, and Healthy, where we learned how to make a tomato couscous salad. If you tried out this recipe, make sure to tag us on social media at UNDMonas and let us know your thoughts. Also, make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more fun and healthy cooking demonstrations. Thanks so much for watching again. Bye.